Hey, what's going on? So, this is probably the subject that I love the most personally, uh, one-on-ones. Now, a lot of people in the world think that one-on-ones are absolutely useless. In fact, uh, I actually find that one-on-ones are probably the most important thing in order to get better. Uh, the main reason why is because one-on-one typically puts on just what you need to improve on. All right? When you're playing somebody one-on-one and somebody shoots you through your cover, nobody's fault except for your own. Okay? There's, there's no, I need to be in this position because my team needed me there. No, it's because you put yourself in a situation or in a position where you're, gonna, you're most likely going to get pierced. And you weren't, holding, you weren't holding tight enough, so you got pierced. So the best way to improve your game, I find, is playing one-on-one. Now, when you do play one-on-one and you're not, you're not being in a serious and it's not a real tournament, there's no need to not talk to the other person, okay? If this isn't a competitive thing, you want to explain to somebody how they can get better, all right? It's not, it's not like, oh, I, I need to outplay you every single time. No, this in, is intended to make your game a little bit better, all right? So, when you first start out, you have to understand, number one, what kind of personality do you have, okay? Are you an aggressive person in nature? Are you a defensive person in nature? Are you a shy person in, in nature? Okay, all these things take a very important fact in how you're going to play one-on-one. -on -one. People who tend to be more shy tend to be more fearful. When you're fearful, you tend to be, tend to think and not act. I've known some great QZR players in the world who can't, who think like they are complete geniuses, but they just can't act because they're afraid or they're just not moving fast enough. Their brain doesn't move quick enough. It's not a problem. All right. Then you have your aggressive people in nature. Right? These are the people that tend to put themselves in situations that are not most advantageous, but they're aggressive in nature. They tend to be people who tend to play closer to you, people who tend to take really fast reflexes, all right? and people who tend to shoot first and try to block. All right? These people are people you can take advantage of. Then you have the most efficient player, which I find, which is people who are more defensive. Defensive players always play the arena, use their environment, and make the other person make mistakes. Now, understand sometimes, when you play defensive, you may be put in situations with the aggressor where he controls your environment as well. Okay, there's also what I call controlled aggression. This is the most efficient way to play. Now, when you first start out, you want to find your own personal weaknesses. All right? The mentality of a QZR player in a one-on-one -on -one match is very different than any other game that you're going to be playing. The mentality you need to have is, understand this, you want to be in the most advantageous spot every shot you play. Whether or not the person's up does not matter. All right? If you shoot somebody and they're down and you're not going after them, do not put yourself at a disadvantage because you're trying to tag them. Okay? It's much better to take your time to find a more, adva more adva advantageous spot in order to shoot them, even if you allow them to get up. Okay? The reason why I say this is because a lot of times what happens is people just try to shoot somebody as fast as possible once they tag somebody. Why? Have a plan. Plan out, plan out your attack. You, you tag the person, okay? You control where the action's gonna go. They may walk to where they wanna play, but you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna dictate how that's gonna go down in the end because you're gonna decide where the first shot's gonna be fired at, okay? Because your shot should be first. So instead of taking a shot and letting them get to where they want, forget shooting. Just walk in front of them. Think, where do I want to end up? All right. Then move, to, move, uh, move yourself to around that spot in order to take that shot. Then take a shot and get to the spot where you want to play. Don't just go after the person, shoot, and then try to try to block them. Know what you're going to do. Outthink your opponent. Outplay your opponent. Now, the person may have a better cover than you. Hell, you may even be smarter than you. That's not a big deal, all right? Outplaying your opponent is way, way more important than having a better cover, okay? If you use the obstacles better than the other person, I guarantee you'll beat them more than they beat you, even if their cover is better than yours. Because the cover is all great, but if you're in a disadvantaged spot, your cover isn't as efficient as somebody, okay? If I'm taking shots at your cover and you're not taking shots at me at all because you're, behind, you're stuck on a wall where you can't see any of my cover and I'm behind it, then you're getting outplayed. Now, 
That's another thing you want to learn about when you're playing one on one. If you whether or not you got beat because they're better, or they, took a, they, they outplayed you right there, or whether you simply got outmaneuvered. Okay. If you get outmaneuvered, you want to make sure it doesn't happen again. Make sure you remember what, how that one, how that little battle just went out. You want to remember it in your head. Okay, he moved me like this and moved me around, took a shot at my front, and I had no shot on him back. Remember how that went down. Playing one or two one-on-ones in a row, then stopping, talking to the person you play, and go, hey, you know, well, how did you shoot me on this one thing? Or how did you? Okay, you know, or how did, how did, uh, were, were, were you tagging me like this? Were you bouncing me off of this? What did you bounce me off of? What did you hit me off of? You know, think about what you did. Then tell a person, hey, you know, when you did this move, that was really, that was really good. You, like, I didn't know what to do. It's very important and it's very encouraging, especially for you up and coming players when you're playing each other. Be honest with each other. You know, you don't, you're not trying to beat each other on an after hours play. All right? That will make you much more, a much better one on one player and a better choose our player in general. Always use one-on-ones. It's very, very important to always use these in order to get better, especially when it comes to perfecting your cover. Best way to do this, just stand in front of somebody. Let them take shots at you, and then help figure out ways, little different maneuvers you can do, body manipulation, which I'll talk about later, in order to block those shots even better. All right? And be honest with that person, okay? Tell them to take this shot over and over and over again, because I can't block it. And try to figure out muscle memory over and over and over again. Keep practicing. The way I got good, I simply played somebody for 12 hours straight playing one-on-one -on -one over and over and over again. And it was the same person. And people kept telling me, how can you get better playing the same person over and over and over again? You can because there's so much of your game you can develop. You can develop close combat. You can develop mid-range combat. You can like long-distance combat. You can perfect everything. You can perfect timing. You can practice canceling. You know, There's so many different things that you can learn about playing with somebody with one-on-one. -on -one. Playing somebody in a disadvantaged spot. When they have an advantage spot, learn better timing. Learn places, taking places where you're going to get bounced a lot so you can start thinking about your environment. Always be thinking about these things when you're playing one-on-one. -on -one. And remember, most of all, calm yourself, okay? Learn to calm down when you're playing somebody one-on-one. -on -one. Not, don't hurry, okay? Take your time. Pick, pick your points of attack. Don't just uh, go crazy and just try to out try to just out move somebody, outplay them, right? That's way more important than out moving somebody. If you block somebody a hundred times and have no idea how you block them, then you can. How is that going to make you any better? You want to make sure that you're slow, calm, collective. When you beat somebody, you want to know exactly how you beat them and remember that. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to be going over is twos. Thank you for